Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I've got a little experiment with the Glowforge laser cutter. I want to see if you can engrave printer paper. Turn this thing on. So I've, in, I've cut paper before on this machine, but I'm curious if you can turn down the power enough to actually engrave it. Uh, so to keep it down, since there's a fan back here that pulls all the fumes out, I'm just gonna put these little hard drive magnets on the corners to keep it from blowing away. I'm gonna see if I can just engrave like a photograph on this piece of printer paper. Hey bud, what do you think of lasers? You like laser cutters? So I have a picture imported in. Let's just put it to a smaller size so it doesn't take as long. That seems good enough. Make it a little smaller. So we got the size. Put in the material thickness. It's paper, so it's gonna put in the thinnest it will let me put in. Let's go to manual. Very power. I did a few tests off camera with this. Found that you need to turn up the lines per inch just a little bit. So we're gonna go fastest speed and we're gonna go power Try seven. I tried eight before, it was a little dark. So I'm gonna try seven and see what happens. As you can see, the Glowforge software is very easy to use. And if you get look at the link in the description, you can get up to $500 off a Glowforge. Okay, and I just hit print and let it do its thing. Okay, so it's done preparing. Means it's gonna take 24 minutes, 58 seconds. Now I just have to go hit the button. Got the paper ready, Glowforge is ready, buttons blinking. I wanna get a time lapse, but I don't wanna use my phone because it's close to half an hour long. So I've got an iPad set up here for time lapse on a music stand, which is some scrap acrylic holding it in place. But it, you might know if you ever tried to videotape or take a picture through glass, you might be able to see, you probably can't see it through the camera, but you can see it the reflection from the ceiling and everything above in the video. A little trick I found to get rid of that just take a massive piece of cardboard and just drape it over the top. So that under, under here, you're not gonna be able to see it, but there's no more glare. So now I'm gonna start the time lapse and start the laser. Before you get to see the time lapse, quick word from my sponsor, me. Now, if you didn't know, if you search into the wood shop on Amazon, you get to my merch right here. I've got all these shirts that you can buy and I've got more coming. So if you have any ideas, comment what you want to see. These are ads. Why are they showing me ads of things very close to what I'm selling? So they've got, they've got this shirt in English. God said, let there be light and there was light. But th these are the Maxwell equations, but mine's better, honestly. Mine's in Hebrew. So you, sh you should buy this one. Also these theater ones are in partnership with my sister who runs a theater, uh, Instagram and YouTube now called Every Theater Kid Ever. And if you buy these, half proceeds go to her. Check out some of my other videos. I've got more build videos coming soon, including a really cool wood carving I'm working on right now that should be done maybe in the next few weeks. Ooh, I've made something magical. Thanks, Glowforge. Okay, it's done. See you, cardboard. Stop that time lapse. Move this out of the way for a moment. There we go. Oh, look at that. That worked pretty well. That's with no editing at all, just straight through the Glowforge software. Let's get this out of here.
looks pretty good. Time to go cut it out. About 30 minutes to make it from the game to end. I'm not the only one who makes stuff. We've got some sewing going on here. <laughs> yeah, so buy the theater merch so she gets money. I'm making a makeup bag because I want to put all my makeup in a bag for a trip. Bag. Whoa. Should I do some sewing projects? I think I should make some sewing videos. Don't beat me. Over here, got a sneak peek at maybe some future projects. Got a bunch of brass. Some platinum even. And some giant coils. Make something out of those at some point. Little side note, I'm practicing Fusion 360 for some cool stuff coming up in a few months. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe. I've got tons more videos coming, making stuff in all mediums, including the laser, maybe some sewing, some wood carving, some welding. Who knows? Might even learn something new just for to make a video of it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.